Good morning everybody. We have a new design and this is special order. Think about that. It's going to come out nice. And this is for my buddy Cameron I told you all about the other day. I told him I'd show him a little bit of the process of it being built. I'm going to burn my maker's mark in it along with all those <laughs> so a little bit of that so you burning that in there still got to go through grind and heat treat and all that I changed my solution here for my acid solution to the water and salt to vinegar and salt because I found out it's not nearly as messy. It does the same job, does the same thing, but it's not nearly as messy. So how was everybody's weekend? No, it ain't the weekend. What is today? It's either Monday or Thursday because I had to put the trash can out this morning. I think it's Thursday. We went and did our monthly supply run to the Walmart yesterday messed around town a little bit then I came back to the shop and started on cutting on a bunch of these and as far as this not being as messy it's also not quite as fast it takes a little longer to do these But I'd rather spend a few more minutes than I had all that mess. I was thinking something else. While I'm doing this, I was asked my opinion on another one of them political things. And for you that asked me, I'm not even going to talk about it. I am so sick of it, I'm just not even going to talk about it. Because there's nothing we can do anyway. The powers that be are going to do what they're going to do. So, just do my thing on the flatlands and be happy. It is almost time of the year for shrimp to start coming in the bay. And I talked to a friend of mine yesterday, or day before yesterday. Had a lengthy discussion. And he goes almost every day. Takes the boat out almost every day. And they're catching a few right now, not many, just enough for bait, really. But when the big eating shrimp start coming in, uh, he's going to call me. I will show up somewhere down there and go with them. Take the bait nets and just throw and catch them that way. Maybe I can catch enough to put up in the freezer and have plenty to eat over the winter. And I'll put some up for bait also. At the same time, you catch a little small fish that you can use for bait. The one good trip you can get lots of bait and lots of food all at the same time. Okay, we're just about finished with this. Should get it burning good. Plug that. 
Throw that away. stuff here and clean it off and see what it looks like. You're just about out of this. I think I found a solution. This is six dollars and ninety cents a can fingernail polish remover which is about the same thing a big bottle is like a dollar ninety nine so as soon as mama goes to work today I'm gonna go steal that bottle out of the bathroom in there <laughs> there we go how about that it's pretty good okay we'll see some more of this knife a little later today and we have something different that I don't think I've showed y'all before we have, you know what that is, a bread knife. And I'll show you that here in a little while. Got it? Okay. All right. See, I told you I was going to get in there and steal that. <laughs> Works good, too. All right, Cameron, new design knife. All right, that is the initial grind. Now I've got to get it heat treated, tempered, a little more grinding, maybe some polishing, then I'll get the handles on there. Uh, these three, maybe today. And these four, maybe today. And these 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe today. <laughs> Reuben, I've got a lot more grinding to do on yours got to shape the blade and some complicated stuff on that all right mr. Paul and mr. Meadows mr. master sergeant Mike uh, master sergeant Jim Charles And how about that? I got two left over. No, I don't. Mr. Meadows. One goes with you. How about that? I got one left over. I made one too many. I'll send that to Mr. Paul's son. How about that? All right. Oh. Andy, I got a grind on yours too. Them's yours. Alright, I'm having bad hunger pains. I'm going to get me a sandwich. And I'll show you all some of these after work. I did not make an extra J.N.L. Skinner. But I am now because I forgot. Reuben. <laughs> you wanted one too. There you go. I'll fix up this one for you. Alright, everything heat treated. Double check for hardness. All the blades are hard. So we're going to put them in the oven. A little less than an hour. Let me get that wooden board off the oven. And the bread knife will have to go in by itself because it won't fit. And had an old fella tell me one time if you're not bleeding, you're not working. So I'm bleeding, so I'm doing good. <laughs> Just a scratch. Alright, there's the bread knife. It'll have to go in, like I said, by itself. All right, now I'm going to start cutting wood for handles and digging out uh, Jano handles. Something. I don't know what I'm doing. mix up an epoxy put these handles on here and show you the first one and they all run the same way
Now I use Devcon 5 minute epoxy. Now it'll set in 5 or 10 minutes to where you can work with it. Because I put this one side of the handles on, then I'll put the other side on. And then the actual curing time is overnight. And it says you can use it before then, but I like to let it sit overnight. Put an even coat on like that. Now Cameron, this is yours. Oops, I'm gonna turn it this way. Make sure I don't glue it on backwards. That absolutely has happened before. <laughs> Let that sit right there. Okay, and we'll go to the next one here. This one is Mr. Paul. Paul's one that traded me them really cool tools, some old tools. That I could probably forge into some knives. But, uh, they're just so cool that I can't, and they're in such good shape, I'm not going to destroy the tools. I'm going to, especially the chisels. For the file, I'll use that for a knife, but the chisels I will. One of them needs a good sharpening and cleaning, I'll do that. And the other one needs a handle. And I'll put a handle on there and we'll just use them for tools. Like they was intended for. Alright, to work with this stuff you gotta go pretty pretty quickly. And I'm past the point of trying to keep it off of me because it's gonna get all over me. It's like a paint can. I don't even have to open a paint can to get paint on me. So. Alright, Mr. Meadows, this one is yours. Maple handle. Actually, Tiger Maple. Plant that up right there. And Master Sergeant Mike's bread knife. Which I'm going to do a demonstration on when I get done with it. See how fast that sets up? called a wife at work a little while ago and I told her I said bring me home a loaf of bread she brought me home a loaf of bakery's French bread and we'll see tomorrow how good it slices it Okay, now this handle on this one is hickory, dark hickory. So I said before, is my favorite wood for handles to look at. 
and is my least favorite to work with because it is so so hard there we go okay we'll let that sit for about 30 minutes then I'll put the other side on and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that how to get everything prepped and ready and I let it sit overnight and I have done a piece of work today folks with all these blades done I got all the handles cut for the JNL skinners Andy I got yours heat treated I got to figure out which kind of wood I'm going to put for handles on that and let me tell you all something why I don't like anybody using my tools I have looked for that square for two weeks could not find it could not find it yesterday now this is not a cheapo this is a good square yesterday I went out and lit the grill barbecue grill and cooked mama supper out there and I looked up on I got a sink over there the outdoor kitchen which we'll get back to that very soon I promise and laying up there by my sink was my square all rusty I know who, I know who did it I know I know I know I know but I'm not going to say nothing uh, his initials are Joseph Wallace which be the youngest boy so that's all right I'll get it all cleaned up and me and young Joseph will talk later second time third time fourth time fifth time since she was about that big she left my tools outside <laughs> that's at least I found it all right we'll get back to these here in just a few minutes all right the foxy has dried good enough where I can work with it and I'm going to use Cameron's as an example but all the other ones I showed you go the same exact way We'll put it on the big belt grinder and knock this excess off that squeeze through the holes. Noise alert and get loud. like that now we're gonna go over here to the drill press now my young knife makers that was watching a while back I'm gonna tell y'all why I the way I why I do it like this if you do it this way there is no doubt that your pins are gonna fit and they'll fit perfect every time because if you try to drill the handles and then drill the we drill your blade then the handles and try to match everything up there's a good chance that if you're off just a little bit the pins up they won't fit so we're going to drill a hole we're going to drill our holes like this pinholes now this hole here the big hole the lanyard hole is a quarter inch so we'll swap bits Dust our table down and you always want to have a wood backer behind it so it won't tear your wood out so bad it'll tear it out a little bit
Yeah, I've got our holes here. I want this nice and smooth, so I'm gonna put it back on the belt for just a second. All right, good enough. Now, I'll show you the next step. I'm going to go to the scroll saw. A band saw will work just as well. But it tends to eat up band saw blades a little bit quicker. And scroll saw blades are cheaper than band saw blades. Okay, so I'm just going to cut all this excess off of here. Show you how to do that. All right, it's going to get loud again. Well, if you plug the saw in, it'll work. There we go. Now, I'm going to take it over there and go through the exact same steps, put epoxy the other side on. When that dries, I'll flip it this way and I'll drill those pinholes here. That way there is no doubt that they will line up. And once I get this other side drilled on, that's going to be tomorrow now because I want it to sit overnight. Like I said, make sure it's, uh, make sure it's cured real good. Plus, it's getting late in the day, and I'm about to get tired. <laughs> right, there's that one. I'm going to go ahead and do these. Uh, so they'll be good and dry by in the morning, and tomorrow I'll get started on those. Those go a whole lot faster than these do. And I might even show you one of those tomorrow. So I think with that... I'm going to work on this. Oh, I know somebody's going to ask me about the epoxy. That's the brand right there. Now, I get these at my favorite big box store, uh, the big blue store, Lowe's. Because uh, they're, this is like $349, $359, something like that. And I get 10% veterans discount, which is why I shop there. Because the big orange store does not. They want your whole life history. And they don't need to know all that. Anyway. It's easier for me to get it this way. Instead of getting the big cans. And doing the mix. Because that stuff is very, very, very expensive. And this is just as good. And it's inexpensive. So what else was I going to say? All right, let's turn the camera. It's supposed to have a cool front come through Saturday night. And maybe we will get out of the 90s. I sure hope so. We'll be ready for some cool weather, some winter time around here. So, there we go. Uh, 
we'll work on it some more tomorrow and then the leather work on all this will take at least another day but uh, a couple more days and everybody will be finished everybody will be shipped out and we'll all be happy thank y'all for watching thank you for your support and i will see y'all tomorrow